Do you like taking snaps in your back garden? Well, earlier this year, the Royal Horticultural Society launched their photography competition for professional and amateur snappers alike to capture the beauty and drama of the garden. This week, the winners were announced, and we're joined by some of them in just a moment. But first, to the competition's organiser, James Arnold. <laughs> From beautiful photographs, what were you looking for? What's the purpose behind this competition? We're trying to capture the diversity and the wonder of gardens with through photography. So we've got all sorts of ranges of grow your own and wildlife in the garden for young people, for children. Really trying so to. So we've got right children there. going out and taking photographs as well. Yeah, what, really, really young garden. children. Yeah, yeah, from the age of four and five. Wonderful. Gets them out there actually doing something. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, standard of results? How many for a start? How many entries? There were over 3,600 entries. Ooh, good. All from around the world. Yeah, I'm really hard to decide the winners. It took a long time to get well, through them all. First of all, then, let's just have a look at some of these to the wildlife in the garden category. And in third place, Tim Hunt. He's over here. <laughs> Tim, good to see you. Right, this, I mean, I just want to give up when I see images like this, James. I mean, Obviously, the clarity is, is astonishing. Eyelashes on the rabbit ear. It, what, what appealed to you about it? I, it's just pin sharp. You've got the, the curvature of the eyeballs there. It's staring right at you. It's straight on. It's just such a lovely thing. You want to reach in there and give it a cuddle. So, where did you take it? Um, it's in my garden. I've got quite a spacious garden, so it backs out onto a field. And um, I was out actually looking for foxes on the day, uh, but this rabbit was sticking around. Um, I managed to get quite close to it with the, uh, the aid of my ghillie suit, which is Oh, kind so of, you uh, wear this kind of camouflage outfit, yeah, so like you look a like a bush. Yes. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and um, so I managed to get nice and close and uh, I gave it a low perspective, really, just to, to throw out the background so it's nice and... Uh, and this yeah. is the camera you use, this, this enormous great thing here, which yeah, looks a, like a, the Jodrell Bank telescope. Yeah, it's a bit of a monster. It's a 500mm it's a lens, so it gets you uh, nice and close and obviously gives you... How uh, far away were you when you took it? Um, probably about eight metres. Oh, so fairly see, close. You seem to yeah. be quite close, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. I mean, yeah. Right, yeah. we move on. In second place, Lynn Marsh. <laughs> James, I see you. Look at this. Now, this points up, does it not, the camouflage of insects. What have we got here? This is a privet uh, hawk moth that yeah. was taken in my garden. And this, the appeal of this one to it's you... It's just then, lovely. Jane. The colours there, the texture of the whole thing with the, with the tree bark and the moth itself is just it's a wonderful image, isn't Have it? Have you been taking photographs long, then? About ten years. Oh, so you're yes. fairly well practised. Yes, yes. And it's a, a Canon camera. It's a Canon camera. And what... So if people are going out to do something like this, quick hint, tip or wrinkle, a bit of advice, what would you say to folk? I took this on a tripod. I used a tripod and I used a, a reflector yeah. to, to reflect the sun bounce some onto light the, in. to bounce some light So, in. tripod for clarity, presumably, yes. and that's where you can see... I mean, you can pick it up, you can even see the little tiny, veiny bits, the fluffy bits that's on right. the, the antennae of the moth. Yeah. How stunning. Good for you. Thank well, the winner of the Wildlife in the Garden category is Leslie Macbeth. <laughs> Leslie. Good to see you. Thank you. You see... We see these in our gardens. They're going for the blooming nut feeders for the birds. Most of us would want to shoot them with something other than a camera. <laughs> uh, but you've got them. Tell us how you got it. Where is it? In your garden? It's again? in my garden. And I was out um, one winter's day last year um, photographing the birds in my garden. I've got a hide and a feeder set up. And this little chap came along. I saw him coming along and waited for him to... <laughs> And, you know, waiting for the moment there, him. really. But yeah. Lots of people take photographs of things like squirrels in the garden. What makes this one so outstanding, James? They're so fast-moving, squirrels, so it's just lovely just to capture that moment and you've got a bit of movement in there and it really sort of captures the drama of a, a squirrel. And you've got a fairly hefty sort of telephoto yes, sir, lens yeah. as well. Again, with a tripod, always? Or... No, I usually use a monopod. Oh, so it's one single? One single yeah. one, yes, because I find I get a bit more manoeuvrability well, that congratulations way. Congratulations yes. to you. <laughs> Next up... The gardens through the seasons category, and in third place, Stephen Studd. <laughs> James, come join us. Stephen, well done. This is this is a, a sight that many of us see <laughs> certain times of year. Tell us yeah. a bit about the shot. It was photographed last December when all the heavy snow came, mm. and uh, I was kind of trapped on my road because we live on a hill. But I go up to my allotment quite a lot to photograph, and as soon as I got up there, the blue shed and the kind of bluish sky. Just kind of drew me to it, it straight picks away. Picks it up a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Your advice to people going out trying to take snaps, snaps, we always call them snaps, but yeah. I mean, what, what's your sort of advice to give to folk? Uh, see what you're drawn to. In this case, wrap up warm. Yes. And, uh, 
Yeah, I and, mean... And frame it up. I mean, it's beautifully positioned. Mm. I mean, Kane's dividing it that way. What mm. was the appeal to you, James? I think it's the contrast of the colours, the blue and the white of the mm. snow, and it makes it really stands out, because often on a sunny day, things can look very grey and dreary, but this just jumps out at you. Well, our second place went to Theresa Brown. It's been Theresa. Theresa, congratulations. With, I have to say, one of my favourite sites ever is a Bluebell Wood. Where is it? Uh, this is at Blackberry Camp in East Devon. Yeah. And um, the reason I liked it is that uh, you can have quite a lot of clarity with the Bluebells here in the foreground because Bluebells are quite difficult to actually capture because you often get a carpet of blue and no definition in the Bluebells. And you've managed that because you've got patches of sun, patches of shadow. And yeah. also your Bluebells are blue when I take them, they often go <laughs> pink. <laughs> which is, I'm a wrong photographer. <laughs> but the appeal of this one? It's just the lovely sunlight, it draws your eye through it. It's such an idyllic scene, it really just sums up this just glorious British sort of... countryside. And you, have you been photographing long, Teresa? Uh, about ten years. Right, so you're experienced at it as well. Mm. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, I think I would, looking at that, it's wonderful. Last but not least, the winner of the Gardens Through the Season category and the overall winner of the RHS Photographer of the Year Award is Stephen Webb. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us what we're looking at. Well, this was taken at the uh, the lovely RHS Gardens at Wisley in Surrey. So you get extra marks for crawling yes. by doing <laughs> it at their headquarters. <laughs> yeah, quite. Uh, but this was taken in the spring. This is this is uh, uh, one of the very first days of spring in late February after we had all that horrible snow, and it was just lovely with these these fresh crocuses coming up and the sunlight coming through. There would be people at home saying, "Just imagine the outfit's not in focus and there's, well, there's a bit <laughs> of flare." <laughs> That's was, obviously part it, of the. Yeah, overall... it was trying to be more artistic and actually have. It was getting down to eye level with the crocuses as well, so I had to get a face full of mud, as you probably see <laughs> down here. And, uh, and it's just trying to lead you in. So lots of out of focus from the side and then pull you into the mm. crocus in focus in the middle. Why is Stephen the overall winner? This picture just sums up so much, I think, about garden photography. It's such a wonderful picture. It's shot from... It's, it's got originality about it. It's not your, your standard picture. It's a fantastic perspective. It's shot into the sunlight, so it's quite demanding to do that technically. Mm. And it's also pin sharp where it needs to be, which is in the centre of the picture. And things like the seat sitting there, the whole mm. evocation is tremendous, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if you'd like to see these photographs and the other finalists from the other categories, you can find a link on my website, itb.com forward slash Alan. My thanks to Jay Marlon and congratulations, Graham Congratulations to all the photographers. Well done.